Hello, this is Bobby. I'm compatibility paired with a functionality proof uh, for an EEPROM for Samsung 55D 6000, I think it was. Um, the ones that uh, tend to wear out or other things. And I've made a similar video in the past and it was actually very helpful because the uh, company was a repair service that we sent it to prior to shipping the EEPROM to them we made a similar video and uh, they said that the prom didn't work they opened a return case on ebay and returned it under a pretense that it did not work which was uh, not true but what they said was tv power cycles it doesn't work uh, and under the ebay rules and regulations the vendor is supposed to shield sh all expenses related to the transactions which is flat out wrong because Yes, it was perfectly working, but uh, luckily eBay did factor in that we did that, so it did help us with handling the transaction. Luckily, uh, the IC wasn't in the use; it was the, it wasn't soldered. It was if it was tested, it was tested on a socket, uh, which was honestly quite fine by us. Now, uh, the reason I keep on holding on this screen is this is the hub, the Samsung hub, and that screen would not have would not show up without the IC present in the TV or with the IC defective. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the TV off as I've done before uh, with my other video. And I'm going to take the IC out from the socket. And put it here to show that it is a brand new IC indeed. Nothing, no solder, no traces of anything on the back. Let me see if I can focus on that. Come on. <clears throat> All right. All right. So this is how a clean, nice IC work looks like uh, that came out of the TV. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark something hopefully as unique as possible. On it and it's kind of hard okay so this was just the line which will be a little hard to see well let me see what I can do for you to show that there you go so that's the IC that I'm gonna be sending hopefully I tell you unique marking and uh, what I want to show is that the TV, it doesn't have anything in the socket right now. Uh, but if I try to power it on, and there it is. All right, it will show up the Samsung Smart TV. It will even show the no signal somewhere. There you go, the channel. It will even start playing the HDMI. I don't know for how long it would do that when it doesn't have the uh, the IC installed. But the one thing that it certainly will not do. Oh, there you go. It did restart. It did shut off. Actually, it did not restart. So it did work for a short while, uh, but ultimately it shut shut off. You know, 10 seconds or so. And uh, during this time, I could have pressed the hub button on the remote. And it would have shown the start, starting rectangle in the top corner. But it would have ended up the same way, shutting down. Now, if the IC is bad, it may power cycle as well. Even though it may power cycle for other reasons. In other words, you can put a perfectly good applications uh, storage EEPROM there. And the main board can keep on cycling. And if it does that... Either you didn't solder it well, or it wasn't good, or there is another problem on that board. And this other possibility has been known to happen. Um, so if it does that for you, please do not do it the hard way by saying that the IC is bad, because it isn't. Uh, simply recognize the fact that there is a different problem. If the hub starts out, that means the IC is soldered properly and it works fine. But if the hub doesn't start on the TV, or if it shuts down like this, or if it keeps cycling, you don't know whether it was a solder job, whether it was the IC, 
or whether it was something else on the board. And there are other things that we know that go bad and can cause a repetitive power cycling. People <clears throat> do hack that board. There are known ways uh, online to go and try and root it and install your own apps and that damages the firmware which is here and not here. So if soldering that doesn't work, do not tell us that it doesn't work because it does. At the very, well, first of all, if you solder it down there, please don't return it. Take your responsibility. If you want to be able to return the board, test it on a socket, and we will not tell you a thing if you want to return it back. Just say, change my mind if it doesn't work for you. And then send us the whole board, and we can try and help you repairing the board with the rest of it. That is all. Thank you.